Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Com YouTube channel and this will be another video in this episode end to end framework playlist. So in the last video, we have generated the extern report by running the our test cases. And if you see the report here, this report includes all those details, whatever we wanted. But if you see here, the request body, which is in JSON, it's printed without format. Same thing goes for response body. Okay, if you see here, response body is not printed correctly. So and also request headers are coming as like this so what i what i am going to do in this video i i will print the json request body in proper formatting and also i will print the these headers as part of table so that you will have key value pair these two things we are going to do but before that let's fix this issue where response body is not getting printed so if you go to raceutils.java here we are printing response body so here this change get body dot pretty print then it will print the response body properly so let me quickly run it so you can see whether response body is coming or not but before that let me change the id again this is pain i know but i will change this in upcoming videos okay so build it successful let me go to report folder and if you see here one report is generated and if i open it i should see my response body properly this time right we are able to see it but this is not in good format so let's go and print the json in proper formatting or structured way so if you go to the extent report documentation so this is the documentation for extent report 5 and if you go down so they have already one inbuilt method to print the json okay so here you can see code block json you can print the json so what i'm going to do Again, I'm going to create a user method. So I'll go to my extend report manager and I will simply copy this method and paste it again. And this method name will be like log JSON and it will like a string JSON. If you see the code here, so what they are writing markup helper that create code block. So instead of create label, use the create code block you need to pass the code here the first argument and you need to pass the which which type of code it is so code language dot json so let me put it here okay and it is already imported so instead of printing the log info i will use the log json method let me go to ln test not ln test rest utils and instead of log info i will print the log json one thing you need to understand here because this is already a string and when this will be appended okay so this will be no more valid json so what i'm going to do i'm going to create another uh, log info details so here i'll print the request body is and just below i will print the json okay i'll remove this part because when this will be appended with the uh, JSON, then that will not be valid JSON and it will give the error. So same thing I will do here as well. And so request, it will be response and I will remove this part here. Okay. Let me run the uh, test case and let me change the ID again and let's see how the report will look like. Okay, so test case is passed and report will be generated. Let me go to the report folder, open the report and let's see whether JSON is printed in formatting or not. Okay, so here we can see it is printed in proper formatting, right? Okay, so JSON is sorted. Now let's work on headers. So headers are general key value pairs, right? So instead of printing like this, I want to print this as a table. So again, I will go to my extended report documentation and here we have something called table okay so you can see this this table method takes the two dimensional string array so inside the marker helper only will have some create table method so let me show you that thing so again i will go to my extended report manager and i will create another custom method like public static void print headers Okay, because no need to create uh, separate method for request and response headers because all are headers only. And this will take one argument, right? Maybe list of headers. 
imported from laser sword let me copy this much and here in the markup helper class we have method called create table okay you can see it is taking the two dimensional string array now whatever headers whatever list uh, of header we see right so in header it will be like key value pair name uh, name and value so i need to convert this header list to string array two dimensional string array okay so that is really simple you can iterate it and get the name and get the value then start adding into the two dimensional string array okay but using the stream we can it do it really quick so what we need to do header list we have something called stream then i will call the map right map will be used to change each element okay so i know that this is list of headers so it will return me as, uh, one header okay because header by header it will return me and this header from this header i am going to create a one string array and in this string array i am going to have header dot get name and header dot get value okay it's really high time to learn the stream because this makes really you need to write very less lines very minimum lines of code okay it's very simple what i simply did here i am just iterating it okay whatever you do for each or for loop then i am getting the header by header so we know this in header we will have the name and value those name and value i am simply adding into a string array now we have to convert to array okay but this i will convert to my two dimensional array like a string new okay and this will return me a string and i can store into like array headers something you can give the name now the same name i will print it here sorry pass it here okay i hope this will be clear to you if not just uh, let me know i can create another video on this but this is really high time to use this type of coding okay this is really simple if you do once you will understand okay the, oh this is uh, very simple i should use it now we have created the methods for print headers so instead of calling a gen for let me call this method go to rest utils and uh, headers are i will simply add one new statement log headers print headers so let me change the name again from print to log because i should follow the same nomenclature here log headers so that if you just type log you will see all the methods so it will be like log headers okay and here i will pass as list this much only okay and i will remove this component from here okay and let me copy paste the same thing here as well for the response headers and let me remove this part let's run the test case and let's see what is the change in the report so before that i will again change the value here now let me run the program okay so one this is missing so i corrected it and let me run it again so now test case is passed let me go and open the report let's see what is the changes so changes are like we can see the headers are coming in the table tabular format like except content type okay and here json are also in proper format response headers are also in proper format right this looks good correct now you can see the key value pair what is the header name what is the header value and i think this is the best one not the best one but yeah and if we can have some statement that i will do in some other videos so i think that's fine in this video so if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone